Today, we're looking at the tech gear I use as a fully remote software developer. I'm in Japan. I've been working fully remote for this company for one year now. We're just going to go through all of the gear I'm using. Some of it I've had for a long time. Some of it the company is letting me borrow. And then other stuff I bought recently out of my own money and others from the stipend from the company. So let's just take a look at everything. Hey, real quick, I forgot to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is myself. I just started up a new program where I work with you one on one for three months and get your career launched as a freelance web developer, specifically in the e commerce niche. And I guarantee you, there's a money back guarantee you will make at least 50% of the money you invested in the program. You'll get that back from freelance contracts, either a combination. You should get at least half back from contracts that I send you directly. And then you should make the other half back with contracts you find yourself together with my guidance. And then a lot of people have a more long-term goal of getting a tech job in Japan. So I also get you on a real business project together with other professional developers, even if you have no experience and we're gonna work on this project together. It's something you can put on your resume as a real, a real project. It's gonna be launched and it will have real users. Okay, so we're just taking a look at my Upwork profile. This is primarily how I'm getting the freelance projects. You can see I've done quite a few jobs, uh, 5K plus US dollars in earnings. But the crazy thing about this is Basically, I'm making $2,000 a month, uh, like this month right now, it's the end of October when I'm filming this, and I'm going to be well over $2,000 for this month, and it's just been steadily growing. So like if I go into my finances here, take a look at my weekly summary for this week, scroll down to the bottom, uh, $400, that's not the week, let's do the current month. So October is almost over, but I've still got a few days left, three or four days left. And I'm already at $2,000 for this month. And I did basically the same thing last month. So if we go back to my profile, that 5K total earnings, 5K plus, that was just in the past few months, most of it. And I'm just doing this in my spare time. Imagine if you get into doing this and you're actually doing it full time. You're going to make a lot of money. I know people who are doing that. They're making a lot of money. There's a lot of money to be made in the e-commerce industry. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, you can click on that link down there and schedule a free meeting with me. We'll figure out if the program is for you or not. And if not, well, I'll point you in the right direction. All right, back to the video. Okay, so first thing first is the Inocean 27 inch 4K art monitor. It's a pretty good size. Let me, let me back up the camera a little bit just so you see it compared to like my keyboard and my laptop and compared to my old monitor over there i guess you can't really it's really wide like okay if i get from this angle you can probably see the size difference it's it's good and yeah the colors are great i'm using it for my video editing and everything looks good and also considering the price point i've got the amazon page pulled up i don't have any affiliate links because i don't have time for that but i'll put the links not affiliate links i'll put the normal amazon links in the description of this video if you want to see it but it looks like this is 300 dollars, so that's a pretty good deal the base is solid steel let me just uh, move this stuff over i'll go ahead and close my laptop so you can see it let's just zoom out there let me unscrew this camera. Well, that's that's going to be the next thing I replace is this stupid stand that I'm using. Okay, so bef actually, I changed my mind. Before we do all this, we're just going to do a quick rundown of everything that I have. 
just looking at it real quick and then we'll go into each thing in detail so first off we've got the the red dragon clear keyboard and it, it's super quiet listen to this everything when you need when you need it to work okay So that was the sound. How did you like that? That was just stock out of the box, but I got these switches that I don't really know anything. This is my first time trying to do anything with a keyboard, but I think these are gonna be like more quiet or something. I don't know, but I bought them. What's the next thing on the list? We got the the Logicool G Pro gaming headset. That was like, I don't know, $100. I bought that with my company gadget stipend. Also, this keyboard was bought with the stipend. This HP NV laptop, I bought it used. It has all the stats I need. This is an old mechanical keyboard that I got off Amazon and I don't even know what, hold up, let me just set this here. I've got the box, Ugh. I've got the box, it's called 84 keys, um, probably not a well-known brand, but it served its purpose. It was my first mechanical keyboard. My first keyboard with the lights. Now we're just gonna do a quick sound test because I did typing on the Red Dragon keyboard, but now it's time to do some typing on this one. Okay. So you can see this is very clicky. So yeah, you can see this one was, this is very clicky compared to the Red Dragon. And that's why I wanted to get this. Because I just got tired of, of the clicking sounds. Whoa, what? Yeah, that, I don't know, I just got tired of it. Okay, what else we got in here? This is the laptop from the company that they they sent to me to borrow while I'm work while I'm working for the company. It's a ThinkPad. I think we all know the ThinkPad. Uh, it's got the Ryzen Pro uh, solid computer. This I don't even know. It's an LG. I got it used off Yahoo auctions. It was like nothing. It was super cheap. We got the Mac Mini for when we're doing app development. That's also borrowed from the company. Under the desk, we've got an old desktop that I used when uh, when Donald Trump sent us $1,000. I bought this and that LG screen off of the Yahoo auctions, but the the computer eventually died, so that's why it's just a footrest now. Now we're moving over here to this corner of the desk. Of course, before we do that, you got a clipboard with notes and to-do lists because I just do it on pen and paper. I just like it like that. Oh, dang this stand. Okay, so on this side we got We got mineral water in a glass bottle because if you use plastic, you're gonna get mi microplastics in your brain. We got the the original 1995 Pikachu, Burger King, po Pokeball thing, and you know just Pokemon cards over here. Uh, Live your dreams from Ken Honda. He's a uh, 
a millionaire author over here in Tokyo. I had some years ago, I had coffee with him and another millionaire guy, and it kind of changed my life. He gave me this pin, the Happy Money Pin by Ken Honda. Sorry, I know this isn't tech gear, but it's important to to have. Oh god, it's important to have you know some good stuff on your desk. Uh, I mean, you gotta have some Charizard cards. If you don't have the Charizard cards, and just random, I don't know, unopened booster packs of original Pokemon cards and and stuff like that, you just gotta have something something all right so now that we've done just a, a quick overview of everything on my desk we're gonna get down into the details of this NOCN monitor because it is pretty cool the colors are good let me see here comes with a full calibration report they they say it's fully calibrated with the coloring and all that it comes with like a bunch of cables all kinds of cables that i'm not even using right now but let's go ahead and let's take a look at what this thing can do sorry we're, we're doing this on a budget setup you know i don't have i don't have professional filming gear one really important thing i forgot to mention was the blue light blocking glasses. You can't forget about that. At least two, maybe three hours before I go to sleep at night, I'm putting, I'm clipping on those blue light blocking glasses so my eyes don't get too strained. Okay, so yeah, again, I'm gonna try to talk louder because the mic is a little bit further away than what it was. So let's take a look at this thing, man. Like. First off, the stand, the stand that they give you with this is really nice. It's solid steel. So, I mean, even if your desk is is getting banged around, this thing isn't moving. Uh, you can see the screen easily tilts. Does this even look good? Is this a good angle? I don't know if this even looks good, but yeah, it tilts. Uh, it moves up like that. Move down. If you want to, you can put it vertical like that, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I just like to keep it like this and I don't know how I would make it go vertical. Undo this. I should have read the instructions first. Okay, so you can see we've got quite a few things here to choose from. That's the power. I mean, HDMI, this thing, type C. Look at all this stuff. Okay, and next thing is the chair, which could be the most important thing. I don't know how to say the name of this brand, but I think it's Kofo. I have it pulled up here. Kofo. Amazon Kofo, that's uh, Japanese yen. Uh, what is that? like? 300 less than 300 dollars i don't know but it's a pretty nice chair like the main reason i got it is because it's it's breathable it's breathable it's super comfortable and it kind of performs it's got it's got it's got the lower back support there it kind of conf uh it kind of performs like those really expensive chairs but it wasn't that expensive so yeah all of the things i'm using basically are really good value what else i mean this keyboard i love the fact that it's clear 
and I usually just uh, let me put it on the notepad yeah I usually just keep it on this setting where just the buttons that you press color just because um, it's too bright to be honest with you I don't really care for all of this flashing if I'm trying to do work like if I just have it kind of sitting there is ambience like like I have I have that thing going in the background then it's okay but yeah otherwise if I'm actually working I'm not gonna have this I mean it's pretty cool and I mean you can that's as low as the light goes that's as bright as it goes so even the lowest setting is just it bothers me I, I can't concentrate with this thing going on is that the way I want it? oh no that's just off it has like 20 different patterns that you can do oh dang it did I just did I just miss it? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, this is the one I like, where it just lights up just on the button that you press it. So, yeah, that's... That's about everything. If you stuck around this long, let me zoom out a little bit. I'll go ahead and give you a... Uh, the secret... The secret item on my desk All right, so that was all my my tech gear. Sorry, I don't have all the the fancy equipment to make this like a you know a studio production quality video, but that's the stuff I'm using. Most of it is budget, and uh, I guess that's it for me for today. If you don't know already, I have a paid mentoring program where I teach people how to get their first tech job, how to get a tech job in Japan if they're already a developer and just want to move over here, how to become a full-time freelance developer. Uh, specifically, my expertise is in Shopify development. And if you're interested in any of that stuff, then make sure you click that link down there and schedule a free meeting with me in my Calendly, and I'll be waiting to talk to you. And if not, that's okay. I'll see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.